I'm Ellen Crocker and I need your help. I have a new citizen science project and I'm looking for people just like you to report the locations of honeysuckle leaf blight, which is a disease of bush honeysuckle and other honeysuckles. I'm interested in this disease because I'd like to have better ways to control invasive bush honeysuckle and Japanese honeysuckle, which is the vine species of invasive honeysuckle that we have in our area. And while this disease right now isn't causing a ton of damage, in some areas, it seems to be associated with a decline over time of these honeysuckle. So I wanna learn where is the disease, um, just how much disease does it cause, and is there any way we could weaponize this disease as a biological control for these invasive species? So if you're not familiar with bush honeysuckle, it's an invasive shrub that can grow almost like a tree, like a small tree, but more often you'll see it in your forest understories, along the sides of roads, even people's backyards. It was really popular as an ornamental plant. Um, it was used for erosion control and other things, but it doesn't stay put. So even though it might start there, birds will eat those berries and move them to other locations. So while you might have a honeysuckle in your yard and you've had it for years and it hasn't really spread, um, those berries are still being carried by birds and being uh, kind of scattered throughout forests and old field sites and really taking those over, forming this dense layer that a lot of native plants can't really compete with. It's gonna shade them out and produce such a dense dense layer that nothing else is going to be there. And so that's why bush honeysuckle is a problem, because it decreases the, the diversity of those areas and it reduces the regeneration of the native species we want to be seeing. So what does honeysuckle leaf blight look like? You can see that little patches of dead tissue, maybe some leaf distortion and curling in. Um, you can see other leaf problems, but I think this really stands out and there's a lot of it. We don't have any shortage of it um, in the center Kentucky area, but what I really would like you to do is if you see bush honeysuckle with these symptoms, I want you to get out your smartphone and the app iNaturalist and report that um, as honeysuckle leaf blight on iNaturalist. We've got a project going and you can join that project to get updates on what we're doing. You can also see where else in the world are people finding honeysuckle leaf blight. So if you see any symptoms that look like these, please submit them on the app iNaturalist and that way I'll be able to see them and kind of get an idea of where it is and what kind of damage it's causing. So a big thanks to all of you for watching today and I hope that you will get out there in the next few weeks as we start to see some of these symptoms and report them to me. Let me know what you're seeing and kind of help advance our fight against bush honeysuckle and other invasive plants.